At Saturday's Dressage Team Grand Prix Special, Snoop Dogg showed up prepared to get to the saddle if necessary. Snoop Dogg was escorted around the Chateau de Versailles site wearing breeches, a dressage tailcoat, and a hard hat by Martha Stewart, the queen of American lifestyle writing and television. One admirer responded on X, calling him, Snoop the Stallion, while another remarked, Snoop Stallion is really getting on his high horse. During the Tokyo 2020 Olympics, Snoop Dogg made a memorable remark about dressage, calling German rider Isabel Wirth's horse a crip-walking horse. British rider Becky Moody, who rode her horse Jägerbaum to a first-round lead score, gave the rapper and actor a great performance. He has had a busy time in Paris while working for American station NBC during the games. He briefly carried the Olympic flame during the final relay before making appearances at several events, such as the gymnastics. Something I'm gonna be able to live with and be content with, is, to know that I was the face and the voice of peace for that one moment in time, stated Snoop Dogg, whose full name is Calvin Cortezer Broadus Jr., regarding his time as a torchbearer. Snoop Dogg's appearance undoubtedly generated excitement at the location, Carl Hester, a teammate of Moody's, reported that word of his arrival had spread throughout the stables. I didn't get to meet him, but naturally, there was talk in the stables that he was here and that everyone was searching for him on the camera, the man stated. It's wonderful he was here and that he is enjoying dressage. Even though Snoop Dogg loves horses, he has never actually ridden one. I still have a horse phobia, the 52-year-old acknowledged. Four-time major winner Rory McIlroy startled fans earlier this week by revealing that his favorite Olympic sport is dressage. Regarding the equestrian event at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, the Northern Irishman, who is currently representing Ireland in Paris, once stated, the one thing that's on tonight that I would love to go to is the one I've always wanted to go and see is dressage. Always. It's on tonight at around 7.30, and I simply, I think it's fascinating. On TV, I'll watch it. I simply believe that I watch it once every few years, naturally, and it's incredibly cool and mesmerizing. I'm not sure.